extra good today on ice we got the uh, smash and passion orange on ice some EVP extreme I think I still have the code I just haven't been promoting it but code Casey evojinutrition.com link in the description I got the evo the orange I got the orange stringer on too orange on orange so it might be a good workout I wasn't even gonna work out right now but I don't know I'm just kind of like in a mental having like a mental break today, mental breakdown. So I'm like, maybe maybe I just need to work out. Sometimes getting a good workout and just fixes everything. So we'll see. We'll see if mentally all I needed was a workout or if I just lost it mentally, who knows. But mental block, sometimes you just need to take some good cold pre-workout, have a nice pre-workout snack and get a pre-workout, get a workout in I should say. It is pool day, which has not been the most exciting day for me lately, just because I'm not excited about back. But we'll get some good rear delts. I will try and remember to actually start with the rear delts this time. So we'll get rear delts out of the way, back day. And then of course, I'm looking forward to that bicep pump. Definitely nothing, well, there's something better than a bicep pump, probably like a chest pump would probably be better. Tricep pump, I don't know, probably the bicep pump is better. Triceps look better, I think, and they're more important, but I think the bicep pump feels better. But anyways, we're gonna get the pump. Probably start with rear delts. I did face pulls last time. So maybe I'll do cable, either a single arm or two arms at the same time. Cable flies, I'll have to decide, you know, reverse flies for the, the rear delts. Then I'll probably start with, I didn't even do a pullover last time, so I'll definitely do a pullover. I think I'll do some cable rows, so I did T-bar last time, so it'll be like rear delts, cable rows, a lap pull down, and some cable pullovers, or straight arm pull downs, whatever you want to call them. A lot of people call them straight arm pull downs, so I call it a pullover though, cable pullover. And for biceps, I've been doing the machine a lot. I think I did like the last three workouts, so I'll probably skip out on the machine. Maybe I'll do some bar curls and maybe some dumbbell, either dumbbell or cable. I did cable last time, but I also have been doing dumbbell a lot. So I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how I feel. Probably most likely I'm gonna do easy bar curls and we'll finish with some dumbbell curls just because of how versatile dumbbell curls are. You do one set like palms facing and like rotating like this. You can do all like this. You can do alternating partials. You know, you can do partial reps and then like partial, like 21 style, 21. You can do like halfway up, halfway down and then full range, 777 seven, seven, or whatever. It's just so versatile. You can do so many different variations of dumbbell curls. So it never hurts to have dumbbell curls in the routine. So I'm gonna finish up the pre-workout. Even just after a few sips of pre-workout, I feel a little bit better. So I think I'm, I think I just needed a workout. So I will hopefully be feeling great once I start working out and hopefully I'll be cured of my little mental block, my little mental breakdown I got going on after I work out. Gonna start off with like a light warm up of the delts. Just do some seated side raises, really light. Super set it with some seated uh, like bent over rows like this or raises, bent over rear delt raises sitting on the bench. So just gonna just warm up with the tens, fifteens, maybe the twenties, and then after that I'll do some uh, some cable rear delt flies.
Next, I got some chest supported rear dial fly. I got the bench right here. Not quite as high as it goes, but just about. The point of this, I'm gonna lean up against it. I'm gonna kind of round my back like this to disengage my traps. So it's like rounded back and then right here. So it just kind of helps keep me in a strict position. Helps me, you know, round and disengage the traps. That way I can really isolate the rear delts. So I finished up with the, the delt portion. Now it's time for back. I was gonna do cable rows, but once I started working out, decided I'm gonna switch that up and do bent over rows. So I'm gonna do it with the easy bar, so the barbell, just because I like the grip better, but not gonna focus on how much weight. I'm just gonna focus on contracting my back, just trying to get some uh, great connection with the muscle. So I'm gonna try some bent over easy bar curls or rows. I'm used to doing curls with it, but rows. Did those full range of motion. I stood on top of that, so I could go all the way down to the ground. So at the bottom, my feet were basically, or my hands were basically touching my feet. So that's how you can get full range of motion, full stretch. If you can do it elevated, standing on something. So that's what I did. Now it's time for some lat pull down. So probably gonna go reverse grip. Time for some cable pullovers. When I do cable pullovers, the main thing that I think about is shoulder positioning. I don't want my shoulders like coming forward on the way up. I want to keep my shoulders down and back. So like they're dragging up, when they're down and back, it's keeping my back engaged. I don't want them to come forward and like relax like this. You know, kind of like they come up and they go like this. No, I want to keep them back so they're in like that, that same lock position all the time. That way I can, you know, really focus on contracting my lats and, you know, feeling it on the back and using my back muscles. Now it's time for some bicep curls, easy bar curls. So I'm going like a medium grip. I'm not going super wide, I'm not going close. I'm not trying to hit like, I'm not trying to hit like outer or inner biceps. 
trying to just kind of hit like full bicep all at once. So you'll do that with like a medium grip. exercise to go dumbbell curls I'll probably just do like both arms at the same time if I get tired and I want to get a few extra reps I'll probably switch to like alternating but it's probably all I'm gonna really do for for variation today had an okay workout. I wouldn't say I had like the best pump. Biceps felt pretty good. I kind of did like a front double bicep and just kind of checking my legs, kind of trying to get those legs up. But, and I've been, I feel like I have grown my legs. They just don't look like it though. So that kind of makes me a little, a little down. But besides that, it was a good workout. We got leg day tomorrow. So I can uh, keep trying to, to grow the legs. That's the thing is like, I can get my legs stronger. I can get my legs like a little more defined, but I can't really grow them. Like they've never really grown much. So it is kind of what it is. Maybe I should just, you know, stick to covering up the legs so I don't have to see it and feel bad about it. I mean, of course I'm still gonna train them, train them hard, try and grow them, but it just is what it is. I probably just don't have the best genetics for legs and being taller too feel like tall, once you're over six feet tall, if you don't really have legs, it's definitely a struggle. So can't be discouraged by it though. Got leg day tomorrow, gonna train them hard. But the workout it helped a little bit. I felt really good at first. And then I kind of went back into, you know, not feeling it mentally toward the end of the workout. So helped a little bit, didn't help all the way. It's probably gonna be, what am I gonna do next? Some 320 bench on push day will probably be the next workout. 